Welcome to Strange Historical Tales, where today we discuss the Kentucky Meat Shower. On a sunny, cloudless morning in Bath County, Kentucky, March 3, 1876, something truly bizarre happened. Mrs. Crouch, a local farmer's wife, was outside her home making soap when, without warning, chunks of raw meat began to rain down from the sky. The shower of flesh, some pieces as small as snowflakes and others as large as three inches square, fell for several minutes, covering a 100-yard long and 50-yard wide area around the Crouch's property. The scene that greeted Mrs. Crouch was like something out of a nightmare. The meat lay scattered on the ground, stuck to fences, and hung to thorny bushes like grotesque decorations. News of the strange event spread quickly, drawing curious locals and reporters from across the country to the Crouch Farm, all eager to witness this inexplicable phenomenon. Despite various theories, from supernatural explanations to vulture vomit, the true cause of the Kentucky meat shower remains a mystery to this day, leaving a lasting mark in the annals of American folklore. This strange and unsettling event, now known as the Kentucky Meat Shower, continues to capture the imagination of anyone who hears about it, blending scientific inquiry with a deep sense of the unknown. As we explore the possible explanations for this grisly downpour, we will attempt to uncover the truth behind one of history's most bizarre mysteries. Despite the immediate interest and various attempts to identify the origin of the meat, the event left more questions than answers. A few brave or perhaps foolish individuals even tasted the meat in an attempt to determine its nature, with some claiming it resembled mutton or venison. However, as more scientific testing was conducted, it became clear that the meat was not from a single source. Samples of the meat were sent to various laboratories, including Louisville College and Newark Scientific Association, where they were subjected to detailed analysis. The results were surprising and only deepened the mystery. It was determined that the flesh contained a mix of different animal tissues. Some samples appeared to be lung tissue, possibly from a horse or a human infant, while others were identified as muscle tissue from various animals, including possibly deer. There were even traces of cartilage, leading scientists to conclude that the meat was a combination of tissues from multiple sources. This discovery led to further speculation. If the meat came from different animals, how did it all end up in the same place, raining down on a quiet Kentucky farm? Theories ranged from the plausible to the outlandish, with some suggesting it was the result of a tornado or other atmospheric phenomenon, while others clung to the idea of vulture vomit. Let's delve into the most prominent of these theories. Among the many theories proposed to explain the Kentucky meat shower, the most widely accepted involves the behavior of vultures. This theory suggests that a flock of vultures was responsible for the bizarre reign of meat. Vultures are known for their scavenging habits, often feeding on the carcasses of dead animals. When threatened or overfed, vultures have a unique defense mechanism. They regurgitate their stomach contents to lighten their load and to facilitate a quick escape. This regurgitation, known as predatory vomiting, serves both as a defense and a means of self-preservation. The vulture regurgitation theory posits that a large group of vultures, after having feasted on a variety of animal carcasses, were startled by something, perhaps a predator or a sudden loud noise. In response, they simultaneously vomited their stomach contents while flying at a considerable height. The wind could have then scattered these partially digested chunks of flesh over a wide area, resulting in the strange meat shower that Mrs. Crouch and other residents witnessed. This theory gains credibility from the fact that the meat found on the Crouch Farm was not uniform. It included a variety of tissues from different animals, such as muscle, lung, and cartilage. The presence of these different types of tissues aligns with the diet of vultures, who consume various parts of the carcasses they scavenge. At the time, Dr. L.D. Kastenbein, a chemist who examined some of the meat samples, supported this theory. He noted that samples resembled the type of tissue one might expect from partially digested animal remains. Furthermore, Kastenbein and other scientists pointed out that while this explanation may seem bizarre, it is entirely plausible given the known behavior of vultures. The combination of different tissues and the location of the event in an area where vultures are common added weight to this theory. Despite its plausibility, the vulture regurgitation theory still leaves some questions unanswered. 
One challenge to the vulture theory is the lack of eyewitness accounts of vultures in the area at the time of the meat shower. Mrs. Crouch and other witnesses reported a clear sky with no visible birds overhead, which complicates the idea that a large flock was present. Additionally, the volume of meat that fell seemed unusually large, leading some to question whether a single flock of vultures could have produced such an amount. Despite these challenges, the vulture regurgitation theory remains the most scientifically plausible explanation for the Kentucky meat shower. In the absence of concrete evidence, and given the bizarre nature of the event, some people turn to more supernatural or paranormal explanations. These theories, while less scientifically credible, offer a fascinating glimpse into the mindset and cultural context of the time. For some of the residents of Bath County, the sudden rain of meat was seen as an omen or a divine warning. In the 19th century, it was not uncommon for unusual natural phenomenon to be interpreted through the lens of religion or superstition. The idea that the meat shower could be a message from God or a punishment was considered seriously by those who were deeply religious. Some speculated that the event was a sign of an impending disaster or a reflection of the community's moral failings. Others in the community, perhaps influenced by local folklore or cultural beliefs, entertained the notion that the meat shower was the result of witchcraft or a curse. In rural 19th century America, the belief in witches and the supernatural was still prevalent, especially in areas where education and scientific understanding were limited. The idea that someone with malevolent intent could have caused the meat to rain down as part of a dark ritual or curse was an explanation that, while far-fetched, found some acceptance among those seeking answers outside the realm of natural science. Despite the intrigue surrounding these supernatural and paranormal explanations, they were largely dismissed by the scientific community. Moreover, as scientific understanding expanded, many of these supernatural explanations were gradually supplanted by more plausible naturalistic theories. Another theory suggests that the event might have been caused by an unusual atmospheric anomaly, this theory posits that the meat was lifted from another location and carried by strong winds or a tornado before being dropped over Bath County, Kentucky. Tornadoes are known to pick up debris, animals, and even large objects, carrying them over considerable distances before dropping them. Proponents of this theory suggest that the meat could have been scooped up from a distant location, perhaps a slaughterhouse or a battlefield, and then deposited over the Crouch Farm in Bath County. Historical records support the notion that tornadoes and other powerful wind systems have, on rare occasion, lifted and transported strange objects. For example, there are documented cases of frogs, fish, and other small animals being carried aloft by tornadoes and later rained down on areas far from their original location. Despite its appeal, the tornado hypothesis has several shortcomings. First and foremost, there were no reports of tornadoes or severe weather in the Bath County area on the day of the meat shower. Witnesses described the weather as clear and calm, with no signs of atmospheric disturbances that would be necessary to support this theory. Furthermore, the area affected by the meat shower was relatively small, approximately 100 yards by 50 yards, which would be unusual for a tornado, typically known for spreading debris over much larger areas. Additionally, the variety of meat found, including muscle tissue, lung tissue, and cartilage from different animals, complicates the idea that it all came from a single source, such as a slaughterhouse. The Kentucky Meat Shower of 1876 remains one of the most bizarre and puzzling events in American history. Despite numerous theories ranging from scientific to supernatural, no single explanation has definitively solved the mystery. Each theory, whether it's vulture regurgitation, atmospheric anomaly, or even paranormal intervention, leaves room for doubt and speculation, reflecting the limits of both historical records and scientific understanding. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to share your thoughts and theories. Could the vulture explanation hold the key to this mystery, or do you believe something more extraordinary was at play? Let us know your ideas in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more strange historical tales. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all our latest episodes of Strange Historical Tales.